Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 17, and I will read it. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Here we hear the Apostle Paul's heart and his appeal to uh, the children of Israel, to the nation of Israel, how his desire is for them to be saved. Um, he was basically known, Paul was basically known as the apostles to the Gentiles, but he didn't simply go to the Gentiles only. He went to his own people. The, the Gentiles, they responded to the gospel message, but yet his own people did not. And he compared them as in the days of Isaiah, when Isaiah said unto the Lord, Lord, who has believed our re report? And so he goes through this process in this chapter of how uh, faith comes about unto salvation, that in order to be saved, and you must have faith and you must respond to the gospel message. First of all, you have to hear it. It's important that you hear, and when you hear it, then you go through this mental process of acknowledging it as truth. And it is more than simply acknowledging it as, as truth, but you should respond to it. I mean, a man can know something to be true and yet not respond to it as being true. For example, you can, a man can know that eating too much is bad for his health, and yet he continues to eat too much, and it continues to make affect his health. So it's important not only to simply acknowledge something to be true, to hear it and acknowledge it to be true, but then to make a commitment towards it. And so this is a type of faith. This is saving faith. This is a type of faith that hears the message and notice that this message is the message of the gospel. So faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, or hearing by the word of Christ, hearing the gospel message acknowledging it, hearing it, acknowledging it to be true, and then making a commitment to respond to it, making a commitment to accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, making a commitment to surrender your life unto the Lord. For all that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. <laughs> to God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you will meditate upon this particular verse there would be a word of encouragement to you, knowing that the gospel message is for everyone. All that believe and call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I pray that you would have a wonderful day. Enjoy this weekend. And remember, Sunday is coming, so go to church. Make sure that you uh, enter into worship and leave to serve. And then on Monday... God's willing, we'll be back. And I pray that you would tune in again on Monday as we look at today's verse. Amen.